Hey besties, it's Lisa. Welcome or welcome back. Today we're gonna use Dollar Tree microfiber pads and corks. Can't wait. Our word of the day is chuggy. Stay to the end and find out what it means. I've got this microfiber pad and then I've got corks that I'm gonna use plus a different kind of cork with a little lid on the bottom of it and some fern chalk paint. I'm gonna paint each of those corks with the green fern color except for the one that I'm gonna use for the stand. We're making a Christmas tree, so now I'm gonna start gluing pieces together. So I'll glue five together, then four together, then three, then two, and then I'll have one left. And this is to create that you know triangle shape of a Christmas tree. So I'm gonna put all of those pieces together and then I will lay them on top of each other and glue them together to create the actual tree. You can see how I'm gonna do that. And I'm just putting the glue on the places where I believe it's going to touch the bottom part that I'm attaching it to. That way I'm not just having tons of hot glue for no reason. And we'll continue until we've assembled the whole tree. I would love to know what you wanna see on this channel. So if you don't mind, go down to the comments and let me know what kind of supplies you'd like me to use or what kind of DIYs you want me to make. And I will be happy to do my best to try them. I really appreciate your help. So there it is, all assembled. And now we're gonna take that cork with the little plastic lid on it and I'm gonna hot glue it to the very bottom. First, I'll take off the paper that's on it. And I'm just gonna put a ton of hot glue and hold it in place until it is actually dry because otherwise it's gonna move around. So you just gotta sit there and hold it for a couple minutes. Now I'm gonna take this all-purpose spray adhesive and I'm only gonna spray the two sides of the tree. I'm gonna take my microfiber pad and kind of pull little pieces off and just put that all around the sides like floss blocking the tree and those would be the sides that let's say if it was snowing it would hit those and I'm going to do that to both sides. I've got these adorable little metal charms that I ordered on Facebook Marketplace of all places. And I'm just gonna glue various ones that I think would look cute as little Christmas ornaments to the front of each of those corks, or I should say the end of each of those corks. And that'll be how we decorate the tree. And I just thought that would look really pretty just to add these things. Plus I had them in my stash. I haven't really used them that much and I thought this is a great opportunity to use them. And actually that's all I'm gonna do to this one. You could put a topper on the tree if you want. I didn't, but I really like the way it looks just as it is. And I love the combination of corks and the microfiber pad. Let me know what you think. I've got that microfiber pad again from the Dollar Tree and 18 corks that I'm gonna use, along with the lacquer chalk paint by Waverly, which is a really deep red. I'm gonna just put some tape down on my paper here so that the sticky side is up and put the corks on there and then I'm gonna paint them. I did end up giving up on this because the corks kept moving around. But anyway, I did paint them all with that color as you can see here. Now we're gonna start stacking them. We're gonna make a Santa hat. So we're gonna do five on the bottom, then four, then three, then two, then one, but then we're gonna add a little piece so the top of the hat kind of curves around. You'll see what I mean here as I assemble them. And I'm just using hot glue for this. You can use any glue that you want. So now I've got all those pieces you know, put together and I'm gonna start assembling them on top of each other, putting hot glue where I believe it will touch the rope underneath them. So you can see here, I'm just dry fitting it right now so you can see how I'm gonna curve that top piece and that's how we're gonna add the little top to the Santa hat. And now we will just glue the whole thing together. If you are enjoying this video, not only consider subscribing if you haven't already, but consider sharing the video with someone you know who you think would like it. That is one of the best ways to help my channel grow and I truly appreciate it and I appreciate you.
Now that our hat is assembled, I'm gonna take a little corner of the microfiber pad, I'm gonna cut a piece off, and then I'm gonna start shaping it like into a circle to kind of create like the pom-pom that goes on the end of the Santa hat. So I'll trim it, I'll keep trimming it until I get it to the point where I want it, and then I'm gonna hot glue it right on that last little cork there, and that will become our little Santa hat pom-pom. And again, I keep trimming it because, you know, once you get it on, you kind of shape it, and you just play with it. Now, if you had a pom-pom, a white pom-pom absolutely you could do that or you could make one but I wanted to use the microfiber pad because that's what I was using in this video and it works just fine now I'm going to take that microfiber pad and I'm going to cut a strip and then I'm going to you know shape it around the very bottom of the Santa hat and I'm going to trim it up because again it's way too fuzzy and I'm going to glue it together each of the ends together and then I'm going to hot glue it to the very bottom and poof it around the edges and I'll put hot glue to kind of push it up a little bit so that it just sits the way I want it and I'll of course keep trimming until I get it looking exactly the way that I want does take a lot of trimming but that's okay because in the end it looks so cute when it's all done this was so easy and it turned out absolutely adorable i really love it you could put a hook on it and use it as an ornament or you could just stand it on a tray or anywhere you want i love how it turned out let me know what you think For this project, we're gonna use five corks and some floral wire. You can get that at Dollar Tree. I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna shape the five corks into a gingerbread man. First, I'm just gonna kind of set them up there and then I'm gonna start cutting wire that will fit the length of each of these sections because we're gonna use wire to hold it together and hot glue. Now, I'm using a thermometer for cooking to poke some holes in here, but if you have something else, I could have used a drill, but I wanted to show you that there's another way to do it if you don't have a drill. The idea here is I need a hole to put the wire through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that through and I'll put it through all of the different corks as I need to, where I'm gonna need to put the wire through. So this is the main body part. So I'm just pushing that wire through. Now I'm gonna go through the bottom all the way through to the top. Now it does take a little pushing, so Again, I think a drill would be much more efficient, but again, I just want to make sure you could do it if you don't have one. So I'm going to keep poking the holes until I have them all. For the arms and the legs, I'm going to poke through the long way. Now I'm gonna stick the wire through the arm on each side. You see how I'm doing that right there? And this is just me trying to make sure that I have enough of everything and figuring it out. And I'm gonna attach the legs by doing this the same way, but going up through that middle of the body. You'll see here in just a second. All right, so now I'm gonna stick both of the wires in through the middle of the body for the legs. And then the legs will go right through those two wires. Now I'm gonna take another cork and just cut off a little teeny slice you know, from one end. And that's gonna be the little face of the gingerbread man. And we need to put a hole sideways through that one. We're gonna cut the wires on the ends of the top and start gluing the pieces together. I'm gonna to snip the excess wires and add a little bit of hot glue there so there's no you know, sharp points there. I'm gonna add the legs, glue those on, and then also snip off the excess wire at the bottom and add a little dab of hot glue. Now we're gonna snip the pieces from the top and we're gonna add the head with the wire that's on it. And we are gonna glue that as well. And then we're gonna take that top piece and fold it back into the hole and add a little hot glue. And that becomes our hook for the hanger. Super easy, just takes a little patience. I'm gonna take a Sharpie black marker. I'm gonna draw eyes, a little bow tie, 
and then I'm going to take a red marker and I'm going to do buttons and a white marker and I'm going to go around and do the little white, you know, squiggles that you do for the, the way you do gingerbread. I'm going to do a little pink nose and this little guy is so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how adorable this is. And once I figured out how I was going to attach it to itself, then it was a piece of cake. Let me know what you think. For this DIY, I'm going to take two corks, I'm going to use my linen white Rust-Oleum chalk paint and some of the lacquer and then a black marker. I'm going to paint a small portion of the corks white, you know, towards one end and the bottom as well. And I'll do that to both of them. Then I'm going to take the lacquer color and I'm going to paint another little section on both of the corks right next to the white. And if you overlap too much, you can clean it up, you know, with the other paint color. Then I'm going to use this black marker and I'm going to do the other end, a little portion. I'm going to leave one part, just the cork itself. So I'm going to go around and color that in and then color the end as well. We're making two little nutcracker guys and they're going to be such cute little ornaments. So now that both of those have that, I'm going to take a smaller point marker that's black, I'm going to make eyes, and then I'm going to make the little part that goes under the chin that holds the hat on. I can't think of what that's called. If you know what it is, let me know. But that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do that on each of them. Now once I have that painted on there, I'm gonna take a white marker and I'm gonna do a crisscross on the red part just to create part of the little uniform. And then I'm gonna go back to my black marker and then I just go all around the edge of that top piece of his outfit there just to kind of give it a little distinction between his head. And I'm gonna do that on both of them and that just really makes him look nice and finished. I've got these cute little hooks, I think they're called eye hooks, and I'm just gonna screw them in the top and then you, that way you could use a little hanger and put them on the tree or wherever you want. And I am absolutely in love with these two little nutcracker guys. They are so cute, absolutely easy to do. You don't have to be an artist. And they came together so quickly. I, I just love them. You'll have to let me know what you think. I think this is the cutest little idea and so easy. You could definitely do this with the kids or the grandkids. Let me know what you think. I am gonna take four corks and my linen white Rust-Oleum chalk paint, and then I also use a little bit of that microfiber dust pad. I'm gonna paint all four of these corks in the white, and yes, I'm just gonna let my hands get messy. It was actually easier, and then I just went and washed them, no big deal. So there they are, all painted white. Now we're gonna take some chalk markers that I got on Amazon. I absolutely love them. And I'm gonna start making little snowmen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create little scarves. I'm gonna use four different colors. So I'm just gonna do like a little band of that color around kind of the center of the little, the little snowman. And then I'll just add the little piece of the scarf that kind of hangs down by making, you know, a little dovetailed kind of a look. You'll see here in just a second how I do that. And now you can see all four of them with different colors with their scarves. Now I'm gonna take a fine point Sharpie marker and I'm just gonna make the eyes and I'm gonna also make their little dot mouth and I'm gonna make their buttons. And that's super easy and I'll do that on all four of them. Next, I'll take an orange marker and I'll just make little noses on all of them. I'm gonna take a walnut colored 
furniture marker and I'm just going to make some little hands, kind of like stick hands on all of them. I didn't have a brown marker handy, so this one worked just fine for that. Next, I'm gonna take my little eye hooks and I'm just gonna screw them right into the top of each one and that will make them super cute little ornaments that you could just add a hanger on and I absolutely love these. They are so cute. Again, another fun one you could do with the kids and grandkids. Now I'm gonna add a little Mod Podge to the top of each one and then I'm gonna put some of those little microfiber pad pieces on there so it looks like there's snow on the top of them. And really, that is all that was needed for this. This is so easy. I absolutely love it. I just, you could make them any look that you want. I just think it's so, so cute. You will have to let me know what you think of this one. And now for the meaning of our word of the day, chuggy. It describes something or someone who tries to be trendy but is outdated. So now you are in the know. Ready for more inspiration? Here's another video I think you'll really like. If you click on it, I will see you there. You are truly a blessing to me. Bye.